So here we are back again then and the only difference this time is I've connected my high-tech Optima 7 receiver into the circuit and I'm using my high-tech Aurora 9 transmitter. Again, it's a new model memory, everything's vanilla, uh, no endpoint adjustments set, no exponential, etc. Now, what you're going to notice here immediately, I hope you can see on the video, um, but you'll certainly hear it, is the rudder servo is hunting like crazy far more than it did on the, w w with the orange receiver and in fact both servos elevator and rudder are hunting like mad and i'm just going to move the microphone down there again so you get an idea now it is quite disturbing because there is enough movement there now to make a difference at the control surface so that would be I think pretty unstable I'm just going to move the uh, move the flight stabilizer back to its sort of straight and level position if you like um, and it's still there so it's nothing to do with directional control and if I move these things around it does actually still do what it's supposed to do but there is a lot of movement there particularly say particularly on the rudder now Something else that's probably even more disturbing, certainly for me, is this. Watch the elevator servo. As I move it up, or sorry, in the downward, but through its full range, it kicks, stutters, delays. You can see that happening. I'm actually moving the, you can't see it, I'm moving the control on the transmitter very smoothly from both extents of its travel, but the servo is kicking like mad. what I mean not very good at all now I'm not going to do it on, on, on tape here but I can assure you I have tried a different servo I've swapped the channels around and it is definitely something coming out of the flight stabilizer box without the flight stabilizer box in circuit everything is nice and smooth and as it should be so there's a definite issue there I would say cross compatibility with various um, radio systems and by the way um, off air I have tried to tune that movement out in various ways but it's impossible it always it is always there and it's always random so definitely a problem there in fact while we're here um, I'm just going to pause the video um, I don't need to I've got one here I'm just going to grab a different servo a different type of servo I'm taking a bit of a risk here because I've just grabbed it out of the spares box but we I'll try changing this servo live, if you like. Let's see what happens. So move that one away. Plug this one. Oh. No, that won't work. It's the wrong. It's got a Futaba type socket on it. What do we got here then? Stay with me. Okay, let's try this one. you'll see different servos still kicking and messing around like crazy now I say this is these are actually digital servos I'm going to try a non-digital if you just bear with me for a moment so I'm going to unplug this one and see if I can reach over to the other side of the workshop and find one of these high-tech uh, what are these five four eight fives Okay, you see that it's still, actually you can see it more on there, still jittering and not very clever at all. So, my conclusion is I'm not going to be using this with my high-tech gear. Um, I might risk it on small indoor foamies maybe where it might have some value, but then you've got a, a bit of a weight issue. I think it comes, it weighs in at 9.9 .9 grams, 5.5 uh, .5 without the case. The case isn't really essential whatever you do with this box you must mount it solidly um, up, to, up to the fuselage any movement in that at all you know I think even wrapped in anything less than dense foam would cause a problem in flight you can see how just that little movement
tra would translate into control throw movement. So you've actually got to you've got to make sure this is solidly um, installed in in the fuselage. Uh, on, on the test bed I'm going to use, um, I'm actually going to install this on top of the wing so I can get easy access to the gain um, until everything's set up. But uh, so that's it, um, warts and all. I uh, hope that was useful. Um, this is Wiz from rcmf.co.uk.